As midnight ushered in June 24, women in Saudi Arabia got into their cars, switched on their engines and put their foot on the gas, as the country finally lifted its restrictive driving ban. Twitter exploded with videos of Saudi women driving for the very first time, highlighting their experiences with the hashtag. No word can express my happiness. Also, I would like to take this tag as a chance to thank Prince Mohammed bin Salman for making women equal to men, wrote Twitter user Lama Akaldi. Thank yous to everyone who made this possible, wrote Muna Abu Salaman. A new chapter is about to be written on the first day behind the wheel in Saudi woman Majoto Aline Al ADQ expressed her joy in the video above, I'm just so happy, she told Reuters as she drove, no words can explain what I'm feeling right now, she joked that the view from the driver's seat was pretty different from the back of the car, where she was used to sitting. Read more, Saudi Arabia's driving ban is lifted but women are still being oppressed, activists say condemned by human rights campaigners around the world, Saudi Arabia's driving ban forced women to rely on chauffeurs and male family members to get around. But the repressive regime didn't stop some women bending the rules. Protests in 1990 and 2008 famously saw women driving illegally. In 1990, officials sent female drivers to jail for a day and confiscated their passports, the BBC noted. Read more, Saudi Arabia fires entertainment chief because he allowed female performers to wear tight clothes Sunday's freedom, however, is bittersweet. Reports have emerged that some women's rights campaigners were arrested shortly before the end of the driving ban. CBS News reported activist Madiha Al-Adrush may be among those arrested. Al-Adrush campaigned tirelessly for 30 years for women's right to drive in Saudi Arabia. The country, it seems, still has a long way to go before women's rights equal those of men. The end of the driving ban comes alongside Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, an ambitious yet achievable blueprint, which expresses our long-term goals and expectations and reflects our country's strengths and capabilities, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud proclaimed online. The program aims to reduce the country's economic dependence on oil and improve its ties to Europe, Africa and the rest of Asia. Vision 2030 was criticized in the Financial Times article which questioned the program's readiness to adapt to the changing future of the energy market.